Welcome to The Row Report, a podcast that brings you the latest news, exclusive interviews, and valuable insights from the region's top real estate leaders. And now, our host, Elizabeth Rowe. Welcome back, everyone, to The Row Report, where we help agents like you think, feel, and act like a pro. Guys, today in the studio, I've got some marketing tips for you that are going to rock your socks off. April, tell us a little bit about yourself, about your marketing company, how long you've been doing it. And, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, my name is April Pelkey. I am the owner and founder of Superior Marketing Solutions here in Northwest Arkansas. Um, our goal is to help the small to medium-sized business. Anything from sending out, creating and sending out direct mailers for you to a full-scale television campaign on Apple or Hulu. That's great, April. How long have you had this marketing company? Uh, we started in March of this year. I've been in marketing for almost over a decade now. So I have a ton of experience, both from the corporate perspective as well as mm. like a marketing director. Yeah, very nice. in for a company in, in Northwest Arkansas. So extensive experience with also a lot of empathy in for sure. owning and operating a small <laughs> business. Definitely. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. So guys, today we're going to talk a lot about marketing and not really uh, in broad terms, right? We're going to talk more about the pitfalls, right? The things that we don't want to do in marketing that are affecting your business maybe in a, a negative way. And so can you kind of, you know, fill us in on kind of an overview and then we'll kind of dial it in on sure. what do you think that agents should really not be doing out there? Cause a lot of times we talk about what we should be doing and that's a lot of what our podcast is about, but just like with any kind of goal or business plan, we're not just looking at what we need to be doing, but what we need to stop doing. So for sure, what you got for us? I think there is a big bridge that needs to be gapped. Um, you want to be a well-branded realtor or any kind of business owner. You want to be well-branded, well-represented. And of course, you want your socials, your website, et cetera, to yeah. be as aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. However, um, with that being said, you do want to have a clear marketing strategy and you want to continuously make sure that you're putting out consistent content. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's something that a lot of I mean, business owners all across the board, not um, just realtors, for yeah. sure, fall mm -hmm. with is the inconsistency I, in their posting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, I think why that's, do you think, why do you think people aren't consistent? I mean, speaking as a small business owner, um, I, I'm a big victim of putting my customers first yes. and making sure that they're taken care right. of and my stuff goes on the back burner. Yes. And I think that's an easy place to fall. 100%. Um, unfortunately, though, marketing isn't something that you ever want to fall on. So mm -hmm. if you ever feel like you are in that rut mm -hmm. where you can't get out content on a consistent basis, it's not well branded, et cetera, yeah. that's where you should definitely consider at least working with a marketing agency. Absolutely. And you know, when when we first started talking about this before we started the podcast, you know, I really thought that my inconsistency, our office's inconsistency with the social media stuff is really just because we get busy serving the customer, which mm -hmm. is what we're called to do, right? And and I'm a firm believer in, you know, doing what you're really great at. Exactly. And the rest of it, you know, you know, sourcing out to other people, things mm -hmm. like that, which we can get into that. But um, I want to get into some of these other pitfalls that, that agents get into. So we talked about inconsistency in posting and not having kind of congruent um, social landing pages, For sure. things like that. What else? Um, definitely not engaging with your audience. I think a lot of people will engage on their own personal page, but mm -hmm. when it comes to their business page, they don't do near enough of it. Mm -hmm. And you have what to do you take mean by engagement, really. Well, if you don't respond to a comment, even if they're not asking you a question, mm -hmm. just saying something like, thank you for reaching out or thank you for the mm -hmm. uh, testimonial or what mm -hmm. have you, or uh, whether you engage with that post or comment via liking it or hearting it yeah. or something of yeah. that nature, consistently engaging with your audience and engaging outside of your audience. Mm. There are a ton of Facebook groups online that's specifically for Northwest Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a B2B style client, a B2C style client, mm -hmm. I don't know if you're going into commercial or residential, mm -hmm. there's so many different groups you can get out there sure. with and engage with and it will help grow your page immensely. That's good. That's good what else you got so we've got you know being consistent and um you know having good brand awareness on your page you know with with other people and 
Um, I hear I, I hear you screaming at me on on the <laughs> on the engagement part as well. What else? What With the pitfalls? engagement, um, you want to make sure that you are engaging your target audience. And something that the meta has put out for both Instagram and Facebook that is absolutely incredible. And you can get this on um, your Google Analytics for your personal website as well, as far as who is engaging with your website, Mm -hmm. who's engaging with your social media Mm -hmm. pages, et cetera. And that's a great way that you can go in there either weekly, monthly, whenever you have the time and see who is engaging and consider they're the people that are biting off on your content and gauge your content towards that audience more specifically. That's good. That's good. Well, we've really touched on, you know, three major points about kind of strategy, right? In, Mm -hmm. in what, you know, we need to, to stop doing or start doing things like that. What are some things maybe more specifically that you see realtors out there, you, me, all of us out there doing that it's just, super cringy and you're just like oh you're just really messing this up I wish I could help you um I think there are some cringy that's good cringy and I think there's bad cringy too that's important so like on TikTok there's one real estate agent that cracks me up I don't know what state she's in Mm -hmm. but she comes across my for you page all the time and it cracks me up and she just does these goofy dances in like the living room the bedroom the bathroom and she shows you the house with her just being goofy in Mm -hmm. it and doing like karate moves and Mm -hmm. stuff like that I think anything you can do like that that engages your audience that you don't have to make every post a sale Mm -hmm. you know engaging and entertaining your audience will realistically get you a lot a further. Way. Yeah, I think the cringy ones are like, here's a key, this big old key that is a whiteboard. <laughs> After and like, they've closed and they're yeah. standing at the title company and the agent's got their clients and they're like... And the agent always has this big old grin on and the yes. homeowners are always yeah. like... <laughs> this is so awkward. Man, that is some awkward stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I want to I hit on two parts of this. Okay. So I know that a lot of you out there, and uh, you know, we've had real specific conversations about this, is a lot of the pros in the business are like, look, I'm not doing a TikTok dance. I'm not doing the karate moves. Like, I just... Right. <laughs> I can't. And I think that kind of ties into something that we've talked about on the show before about being your authentic self, right? And that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, yeah. So the the people that are able to do the karate moves, like they are marketing to a very specific audience, right? Mm -hmm. Which is is you in that situation. You're like, I love this. This is so great. But for some people, that may not be for them. And they're Mm going to say, I don't want to do that. And I think my advice, your advice, everyone's advice in the room is, don't right Mm -hmm. so do something that's authentic to you that you also enjoy because then it's like why would you engage with the people that you know you're not birds of a feather with right for sure I mean both for small business owners and real estate agents I'm sure all of us get on social media like in your personal time and see those ridiculous ads it's like I made uh, I made my first sale in real estate and I've got like 1.5 million dollars or some Mm. ridiculous thing Mm. and it's just these goals that are out there that seem so unattainable and that's what a lot of people really push out there be your authentic self and more people will appreciate you and want to do business with you. Something we preach at networking events all over Northwest Arkansas is you want to know, like, and trust. That's so good. And if you don't have that kind of relationship with your customers, you're not going to get longevity out of them. So let's go back to the comment you made about people that post online. Online, how the fuck old am I? So let's go back to the comment that you made about uh, people that are agents that post with their clients at closing or Mm -hmm. right after closing, right? So if you know me or you've had a couple of conversations with me, you know I'm going to shoot it to you straight. Sometimes that can really come off to your clients, to prospective clients as something other than, "Mm, oh, I love myself, you know, I'm so great, you know, and like... (laughs) I'm just like, yeah. It's a bit pretentious at times. Right. Am I right? It's not just me seeing that, right? (laughs) I I feel like, yes, we do want to 
promote ourselves and we do want people to know that hey I'm hard at work and I, you know I, I work hard for my money and I, I did this great thing but I think that there's a real opportunity that's missed and you know I'm not a marketer right I'm I mean I am in my profession but I'm not you know right. I don't have degrees to back it up right but I feel like nope but what I see people saying in the community is nope but what I feel like people really want to see is the story behind the agent. Agreed. It's the connection with the client is their story. Mm -hmm. Because that's really what we're celebrating, right? We're not celebrating, I sold another two million. Who cares? <laughs> right? And right. that's what, you know, back when... Um, back when prices weren't nearly as high as they were you know people would walk around and they would put um on their business card i'm a member of the million dollar club and it was just like <laughs> i was just i was just like and this was 20 years ago <laughs> i was really like so what mm -hmm. you know how does that improve and impact the lives of your clients right, right. sure I mean, it, it's it a personal to goal and that's awesome for yeah. you personally but that's not, that's not really a good way that you need to market your business you know what i mean yep. that's something share that with your families and friends yes. you know I've been guilty of it. I'll, I'll, right. I'll admit, I've stood there with my arm around the people <laughs> holding the sold key, whatever. Right. But I really think that that's not truly a uh, servant mindset of what you did for these people and honoring their story and their transaction and what you've done for them. Are you going to agree, disagree? or? Oh, I 100% agree. And I don't necessarily think it's done out of malice or no. any kind of... No. It's misrepresented. Because I think realtors are just super freaking busy. Yes. And it's an easy, quick photo op. Also, you, you know, know? On, on, the, on the marketing piece, it's easy to confuse what we think is important because we think that our audience sees what our peers see mm -hmm. right versus what the general public sees and it's like who are we really telling out there hey look at me you know 100 percent. i, I, I can a... guarantee you that these agents out there that are posting aren't thinking well my peers in the real estate industry are looking at me with the hey look at me mm -hmm. pictures they're thinking that it's saying something to the public that they serve and what it's saying to them sometimes is not what they intend i think 100 percent um, that's something like you have to take into consideration, which is something we touched on already, but your targeted audience, mm -hmm. I'm going to bounce back to that. Like I have a plumber client, um, in specific that wanted to put fun facts out, like things that you can do to make sure that your house doesn't fall to shambles, you yeah, know? Yeah. Well, there was a tick going, uh, trend going on on TikTok and it was to clean your garbage disposal to put ice in it mm -hmm. and that is not good it's mm -hmm. not going to ruin it right away but those seals will ruin over, over time, time and you're going to have to get a new garbage disposal right. and to them they're like every plumber knows that okay yeah but you're not talking to other plumbers right you have to right. assume that they have no idea that's right that's right you have to come at it from the perspective of the people that you serve. 100%. And it's easy to get in our own head and think, mm -hmm. well, this was, I did a great job. Here's my, right, here's my whatever. And I think that there is a time and place for the, here's my accolades mm -hmm. or here are my achievements, whatever it is to say. But I don't think that it's, you know, every closing that you have and it's the same sure. like key that they hold and, and things like that. So what are some things if there are, people like you and me out there that are looking for other ways to um, connect with their viewers, but still also, uh, you know, be a good representative of their client and the great big awesome thing that they just achieved. The client, by the way, not the realtor, right? <laughs> so what are some things that maybe they could do in lieu of standing there with their arms around each other and with the golden key? So I think sold? you need to highlight the things y'all are already doing. I mean, there's so many real estate agents out there 
period, not just in Northwest mm-hmm. Arkansas, but across the Throw world. Throw a rock and hit five. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And every single one of you work hard to set yourself apart. You're mm-hmm. already doing it. Whether mm-hmm. you're baking cookies at closing or you're putting on a crawfish boil for somebody or right. something like that, right. you know? With that at being row, said- we love doing housewarming parties for buyers, you know? At, there you everybody go. wants to come and see their new house that they just mm-hmm. bought, right? So we bring the cake and the- the beer or the wine or whatever and that's a marketing opportunity because it's something that you did for that client that nobody else is doing Mm -hmm. if nine times out of ten every realtor has something a shtick that they do highlight that That. don't do the standard photo op pose at the title office yes (laughs) yes yes you know show what sets yourself apart right and and looking at Pareto's principle and you know you see where you know, 20% of the people make 80% of the money. It's like, well, why would you want to follow the 80% of people that are only making 20% of the money? Why would you Mm want to do the same thing that they're doing? Exactly. I love that. What else do you got for us? Any any other good tips on marketing and I branding? I think um, something that a lot of people confuse, especially in this day and age, a lot of people are looking into influencer marketing. And I actually have a really cool Reddit story that I'd like to share with yeah, you. Yeah, let's hear it. Um, it kind of talks about the pitfalls of if you're not making informed decisions with an influence marketer. Um, so this is just a community discussion on Reddit and it says, so today I had a YouTuber shout out my clothing brand in their video. The video has been up for an hour, has 10,000 views, a couple website visits, zero sales. Mm. Their videos usually hit 50,000 to a hundred thousand views in a day. I think I'm overreacting by being bummed out right now, but I'm not sure. I paid $500 for a seven second placement in their video. They did a nice voiceover and <clears throat> my content and I said that the best or and they said that the best brand in the space um, niche was my content. Truly everything looks great. I think I made a couple mistakes though. I was desperate to get my brand out there, so I didn't do much research on them. Hmm. That's yep. something that a lot of entrepreneurs do straight out the gate is they're eager they want to get their brand out there and a lot of times they're not making informed business decisions slow and steady wins the race baby yes ma'am uh they are within my niche and they have a loyal following but i didn't look up their history um i didn't keep in mind that their audience age was a little bit younger than the average consumer of mine and yeah i'm kind of hitting myself but it's just been a couple of months since i've done a sponsorship and i'm learning as i go I think something that that person did in in specifics is the fact that they recognize like, okay, obviously this wasn't my niche. Influencers can do great things for you, but you have to be so, so careful. Mm. Just because you get a ton of views does not mean you're going to get a ton of conversions. Right, right. Because that's really what we want to focus on. 100% 100% you know, right. is the is the convert because why else do it if, what exactly. are views if they're just views if we're not mm-hmm. converting I love that and that's something I've dealt with personally with clients in the past where they want to change the way the creative looks and then it doesn't perform the way mm-hmm. I initi- originally told them it would re- perform and it's like yes but when you change the copywriting you change the photo you change everything I'm giving this to you, letting you know that this is what's going to perform. If you change all of that, that may not be, that may not perform the same yeah. way, yeah. you know? Right. So what are some things that Superior Marketing Solutions could do for realtors out there that are just like, man, this is, I really just want to focus on listing the property, showing buyers, closing the homes, you know, helping in that customer service space. I don't want to do any of this marketing stuff. What are some things that your company could really help realtors with? We are actually a full service marketing agency that provides a multitude of services available to real estate agents here in Northwest Arkansas. Whether they want to come on a podcast, whether they want um, reels for online, anything from taking the photos and videos of the property you're selling, Mm -hmm. all the way to creating and implementing flyers in different neighborhoods. That's great. That's great. Um, All the way from branding on television. You know, literally anything you can think of, we can take care of you. I love it. I love it. Um, I know that a lot of people here recently have been talking about email campaigns, drip campaigns, things like that. And that's really something that I feel like when I hear it, I'm like, what is this? 1999? You know what I mean? (laughs) 
you know, it's it's uh, everything, everything, bell bottom jeans, all of it like comes mm-hmm. back around, right? But um, let's touch a little bit on email drip campaigns, some marketing stuff, and you know how to make those bigger conversions. For sure. Um, as per usual, anybody in this day and age has a buttload of email addresses that they're not utilizing, whether those are people that were potential clients in the past, current clients, future clients, et cetera. Yeah. Um, we can take those lists, curate them into like in the real estate sector, we can do um, commercial sales, uh, mm-hmm. first time home buyers mm-hmm. and group those out to specific segments and mm-hmm. send them things that would be beneficial to them. Yeah. Something yeah. I think everybody that, needs let's to focus on that keyword real quick. Okay. Something that's beneficial to them. We're mm-hmm. not just blasting people with, here's my listing. Here's my, here's my, sale, exactly. here's, my here's this, here's that, you know, it's, I love that you said something of value to them because you know that I think that that's really key to getting good open rates, right? 100%. Is, and how good click through rates as well. And, will it help? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. So if you have a blog or something like that, which a lot of businesses have, if they have a website, mm-hmm. um, for realtors, I mean, doing something really easy for new home buyers, if that was your market, you could talk about different things that you would have never thought of until you owned a home. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The yeah. first couple of years, there's so many things you don't 100%, even consider, 100%. Um, especially if you went from renting to buying. Um, same thing with commercial property. Mm-hmm. There's a ton of things that you wouldn't think of until you're already in that situation. And as a realtor, you are kind of a, a trophy for that person to be able to yeah. give them and provide them that information. Yeah. Oh, I love that. All right. So real quick, I'm not going to recap all of all of your points, but if there was somebody out there today that just said, man, I'm, I'm struggling with X and I don't know, you know what to do in regards to my marketing, mm-hmm. what would be the, the first place that they should start? All of our consultations are free. Um, I've had several people from networking events reach out to me and just ask me a question. If there's, I'm an open book, um, I'm happy to help anybody. If you're just wanting to know, like, is this better? Is this better? Mm -hmm. I'd be happy to help you. Um, Contact at superiorsolutionsnwa.com. Love it. Um, If you're interested in any of the products that we offer, superiorsolutionsnwa.com is our website. You can reach out to us online as well on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, what have you. I love it. Well, guys, you've heard it here first. Your tips and tricks on how to think, feel, and act like a pro in today's market. Join us back here next week. where We'll have some more great info for you and stuff that you can implement in your real estate practice. See you soon. The internet at the <laughs> www. The Facebook. Dot Facebook. All right. Again from the theme. Ready, ready, ready. Wait, superior marketing solutions. Today I've got April with us from Superior. Superior Marketing Solutions. Promotional consideration paid for by the following.